In my last video, I introduced jQuery. In this video, I'm going to talk a little more about jQuery events. So here's a basic event. So I'm going to select a paragraph tag, and then I'm going to attach a click event. So when any paragraph is clicked, this function right here is run. And in the console, it's just going to say you clicked a paragraph. Now in my last video, I told you that your code should usually be in a document.ready function to make sure the document is fully loaded before the other code is run. While it is still used, document.ready is now deprecated and there's a more concise way to do the same thing. I'm going to put this whole thing in another function. We're going to just put a dollar sign and then we're going to put this in a function here. Now, instead of document.ready, it's just dollar sign and then the function. So I'm going to take this here and put it right in here. There we go. Let's try this out. Okay, now when I click this paragraph, you click the paragraph, you click the paragraph, you click the paragraph. And if I had multiple paragraphs, every paragraph would have that same click event. So in jQuery, most DOM events have an equivalent jQuery method. Here are some more common ones. We have um, double click, mouse enter, mouse leave, mouse down, mouse up, and hover. So uh, let me show you some examples of here. So if I just put mouse leave here, okay, now when I click the paragraph, nothing happens, but if I make my mouse leave the paragraph, it's gonna say you clicked the paragraph. It really should say you left the paragraph. So double click, mouse enter, mouse leave, mouse down, mouse up. These are pretty self-explanatory. Now the hover method takes two functions and is a combination of the mouse enter and mouse leave methods. So, so the first function is executed when the mouse enters the HTML element, and the second function is executed when the mouse leaves the element. So uh, l let me uh, show you an example of that. Okay, so there's two functions. They're just separated with a comma. Here's the first function, comma, and then we have the, the second function here. So if I run that, when I enter the paragraph, you entered. When I leave the paragraph, you left. I also want to show you some common form events. So we have focus, blur, and change. So if I add an input field here, okay, so now I'm selecting the input field that I added up above, and we're going to do the focus event. So in the focus event, that just means when it gets focused. So if I click into this input field, it's going to say you did something down in the console. And blur is when you leave the input field. And if you do change, that's just if the text in the input field changes. So if I put hello here, it says you did something. And if I say bye, and then it says you did something again because the text changed from hello to bye. I had to hit tab to exit the field before it recognized that the text changed. Now all of the events I have showed you so far are actually just shorthand for the on method. Let me show you what I mean. So if we go back to the original um, click method on the paragraph here, so we, we have this click event. This could be written differently. Instead of click, we're going to put on here. Now we're going to pass in the word click. and then we still have the function. So now it's paragraph on click. So when you click the paragraph, you know, we're gonna run this function. And that's gonna act just the same way. So if I click this paragraph, you click the paragraph. When you use the on method, you can do some additional things. For instance, it is easy to add multiple events. So after click here, I'm gonna put mouse enter. Now you can put any number of events here as long as they are separated by the space character. So I'm going to run that. Now, when I enter the paragraph, it's going to say, you clicked a paragraph. And when I click a paragraph, it's going to say, you clicked a paragraph. So this will bind the same action to multiple events. You can also use the on method to bind different actions. You can pass an object into on with one or more key value pairs, with the key being the event name and the value being the function to handle the event. So here's the example of this. Inside the on method, we have this object here, and inside the object, there are two key value pairs. So the key is click, the value is the function we're gonna run, key is mouse over, the value is the function we're gonna run here. So let's run that and see what happens. When the mouse goes over, it says hovered. When I click, it says clicked. 
And you can also remove an event listener with the off method. So let me put in this. We're going to select a p tag dot off click. We're going to turn the click method off, the click event handler off. So if I go over the paragraph, it's going to say hovered. If I click the paragraph, nothing's happening. I'm clicking, but nothing's appearing on the console because we turned off the click handler. And there's one final thing I want to show you, which is that you can set up an event to run only once with the one method. You can change the on to one. The US on, now it's one, it's just gonna run once. So before, it would show hovered every time I went over it. So I'm gonna go over it once, go off it, go over it again, and it's not showing hovered again, even though I'm moving my mouse on and off of it. It only runs one time if you use the one method. Okay, that's jQuery events. Thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember, use your code for good.